Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Electronic Harassment Parent Coalition of Palm Springs, California, where tonight I am asking the question, have you run into a brick wall? Have you run into the Palm Springs police stopping you on your road to happiness? Is it because of Lisa? Well, there are other paths around a brick wall. They all end on one end or another, and you just go around them. And unfortunately, that's what we have to do in a situation where the police are involved with the crime. Um, that's the first part. The second part of today, uh, it deals with um, the shooting in Isla Vista, California, which is right by the University of California at Santa Barbara, um, where a man recorded the day before he went on a shooting spree that he was unhappy with society because it didn't afford him the sexual relationships with women that he felt he deserved and with the men that have these sexual relationships because he doesn't like them either. This is eerily familiar to what we deal with here in Palm Springs. So um, Lisa is one of these people that is mad because gay men particularly my friends or Jonathan Mendenhall's friends or Stephen Bry's friends won't have sex with her. They don't want her in the room when they're having sex and they won't let her control the action. Um, when I watched this video I was very disturbed because it's one of these things where I've heard all of this from her before. She doesn't like the women that work at the gentlemen's club she doesn't like the gay men's resorts. She wants them all shut down because she feels that society is not affording her the opportunities to be the sexual being that she would be otherwise. And let's face it, she's a sadist. So she loves using her police contacts to punish the people that refuse to satisfy her sexually. And the question on the blog today is, can that situation be prevented? And that's what they're asking in Santa Barbara. Well, in a town full of electronic harassment victims, how long does the Palm Springs Police Department think it's going to be before something like that happens? We know that there are kids that are in school that are implanted and being talked to. We know that these kids can't handle this. And we know that something can happen very easily, and the adults are the same way. So we're going to explore why this situation could be rectified. And the reason it hasn't been is because our police department is too slow to the draw to understand that this problem is much bigger than what they think. You don't know how she talks to us. Now, you know how she talks to you, and you don't like it. But the way she talks to us is about a thousand times worse. We're treated like subhumans. And when you look at this video this kid shot before he went on the shooting spree, that's the kind of superiority complex that she has. So the answer to the question that they're asking on MSNBC is could this be prevented should be answered by the Palm Springs Police Department. Could it be? I think it can. We all know who she is. So why isn't somebody doing something? That's it for today. You might want to take a look at the smoking gun. Should maybe we have been looking at the smoking holster? I don't know. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.